Hi guys, I'm Nagada-chan and welcome to my live reaction for Steins Gate Zero episode 13, I think? Yeah, 13. Previously, it was about a girl who looks very a lot like Makise Kurisu, but she's not and she's from future and kind of got lost in the past. Well, th there was a lot of weird things happening. And now, like, she, I guess, got her memories back because she remembered Mayushi, which was, like, her mom in the future. Oh, wow, that sounds weird. <laughs> her mom, because she was orphaned because of the World War Three. A lot of bad things happened, and she, she is really, like, um, she really loves Mayushi. It's very, like, visible that she probably went through something really horrible and Mayuri, Mayushi take care of her and she really, it really looks like she is very dependent on her, like, she can't imagine being without her. So I hope, like, she wouldn't get a little bit crazy when she realizes that it's not Mayushi she knows is a Mayushi from the past and who knows what happened to Mayushi she was like growing up with Once you are doing time traveling it gets weird a lot So I wonder what will be happening and what role she will have I mean they were really sweet together like Mayushi's mother ah oh, she was so sweet and cute and it was so cute cute little moment so I wonder what will be happening now. Also, we have like uh, the fractions, the Russians and Americans doing their things, which I don't like. A lot of things happening. Uh, I just don't know where it is going. Though I truly like Steinsgate Zero probably more than normal Steinsgate. Probably because... I don't know, like, Okabe was a very interesting character, and he suffered a little bit, but, like, his mental state wasn't that much shown as it is here. I do really love this Okabe, he's struggling more, he is more pessimistic in some cases, he suffers from PTSD. I do really like Okabe in this, he's, like, more deeper character. So yeah, that's probably why I like him. And of course, I loved Kurisu. I, I love Kurisu. She's the best woman character in this. She's amazing. I probably it's because I like Tsundere's. I, I do really like them. <laughs> oh my god, I do really like Tsundere's. <laughs> so yeah, uh, Kurisu, I do really miss her. I need her in this story. Come on, please bring her back. She was there for a little bit. But, like, without Kurisu and her amazing interaction with Akaba, there is something missing. Even though I like this anime more because Akaba's characterization. In normal uh, Steinsgate, I loved Kurisu more. Here, like, I do really love Akaba, how he is. Yeah, they, like, deepen his character, which is very important. So, I wonder what will happen now, because this anime can do a lot of very interesting things. <laughs> I wonder, I wonder what's going to happen. So, I think I'm going to start it right now. Well, if pop-ups let me. Oh, she's very clingy. But, girl, you probably should realize that you're an adult. Oh my god. It's like she became her kid self when she's around Mayuri. They're like, ah, this is awkward. You're not a little kid anymore, you're an adult woman, that would be weird. Mm. 
Can you please stop with this? Weird, isn't it? Eh, <laughs> don't ask. Oh, she's pissed. Kana? She looks like she's pissed. Why would she leave? Susa, what's wrong with you? Why would you leave? <laughs> yeah, it's kind of weird because she's an adult and she's acting like totally like, like a child. Well, because she has memories, child memories of her. So it's weird, like, kind of very weird. She's not kid anymore. Oh my god, the pop up, stop. She's not kid anymore, but only memories she has are from when she was a kid. Huh, I wonder what will happen next. Does she like have some kind of weird connections, which would be dangerous? Oh my god, she acts so funny. Yeah, Mayuri is a very nice person. She's like, uh, what? Yeah, because um, it's from future. Well, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, she's so happy. Yeah. Good question. Yeah, she went somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. Weird. Yeah, there's something shady about it. I don't know, it feels kind of shady. Maybe there is. Maybe you should look.
Mm, kinda. Yeah, I kinda like that's true. How old are they? Oh my god, cornflakes. What? Wait a minute. Yeah. It doesn't match. Yeah, she might forgot it because it was painful or something like that. Children does that a lot. Like bad memories kind of blank out. Usually. Who knows? Depends what will... What will happen next. If you are like, we'll go to murdering spree or something. <laughs> oh, yo, 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 yo. Oh, yeah, it could be. They messed with her? Is that what he's thinking? That somebody took her in, messed with her memory and do something and then she forgot? That's, that's fishy. Oh, yeah. 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 She can be like spy, kinda doing things for them, but it's not like she wants to do that. It's just like they planted her there. Like I said, it's very fishy that she just appears and not having memories. That's weird. And if she is brainwashed, like they can say, they can like tell her to do whatever they want, and she would do it, even though she probably wouldn't like to do it if she wouldn't be brainwashed. She was also kind of brainwashed.
Mm. She doesn't have that. Daru, shut up. <laughs> Yeah, like, she doesn't have that. We, I, I don't know what like kind of childhood Suzuha had. But like there was a world war, so probably nothing exceptionally good. And then she traveled back in time to save the world. Yeah, she can't chill. Oh. Mozart. Why why they were kinda like forcing us to look at it? What significance does it play? Stop anime. <laughs> Surprise, surprise, that's because. <laughs> she knows her perfectly. Am I right? <laughs> She's not very good at keeping secrets. Conflict. Yeah. Whoopsie. Well, we'll see about it. I have a big suspicion that something bad is going to happen. Ah, <laughs> uh, Jesus. Every time this anime is so cheerful, something bad happens. Ah, uh, she's nervous. Yeah, some business. You sure about it? I hope so. I want nothing bad happening, but... Hmm... Yeah, who knows what else they did to her. Like I said, she might be a spy and she would do something bad. I don't know, I have a bad feeling. Why would they do that if there was no reason? Oh my god, the music picked up. <laughs> Calm down, girl. You can kill yourself. Uh, 
I'm, um, I, I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say that at all. Oh, uh, she's going somewhere. I have a bad feeling. I have a bad feeling. Oh my god. Um, nice, nice way there. Where they are going? <laughs> well, Akaba, you you are not fit at all. Even though it's kind of like hill, <clears throat> I don't like hills either. But still, he's kind of pathetic. What is this? Hospital? Some facility? What is that? What the hell? This is shady as hell. What? Are you sure? What? Are you serious? That's nasty. Probably, but that can be dangerous, guys. Are you sure? She's so happy. Well, I guess not for long. Um, well, uh, we'll see about it. Oh, yeah, the music. Maybe it will be starting something. Yeah, definitely. They brandwashed her and the music is like, I don't know, making her doing something. Yeah, remember? And they planted something onto her. Fuckers. So she was trying to let her heal her problems, but the guys who were there definitely weren't nice, I guess. They messed with her. What are they doing to her? A menu system sample? What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I said it. Every time where it is too nice, something bad happens. What is she going to do? I hope she won't like go and try to kill everyone. Please don't. Ah. Uh, damn. Something bad is happening. I hate it. What? Uh, wait a minute. Didn't just... Mary's clock stop because she was like trying to listen to it if it is working or what? Uh, why is this happening? No signal. Yeah, guys. Don't you understand this could be very dangerous? Somebody's there. What? Oh no. 
So they found something. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. What? She was there? Held? For all of the time? Definitely, wasn't she? Yeah, she was there the whole fucking time. Her 10 years? And I brainwashed her and who knows what they planted inside of her? Oh, Jesus Christ. Fuck that. <laughs> What is she going to do? That's bad. And it made his program? Like, that's... That's the... Uh, that's that thing with... Kurisu, like... Artificial... Again. Uh, she's definitely trying to drive them somewhere. Isn't she like, ah, please follow me and we can catch you, kill you or whatever, or, or she might do something to herself. <laughs> Fuckers. <laughs> what the hell is this? I said it. I said it. Every time it looks too nice, something bad happens. I hate you, Stain's game. <laughs> I seriously hate you. So... So, so, she was a kid and she ran away and Suzuha can't find her. Then these motherfuckers find her and do something to her for 10 years or I don't know how long, 10, 12, whatever. So they, they brainwash her, they could do whatever the hell they wanted with her. And there was like a Medius project. Something about memories? Like, did they implant some memories inside of her? Because Emedius is a um, kind of like brain scan or memories of Kurisu. That's why I can like she... Uh, that's why that AI is very like... Uh, like her. Because it has her memories. So, like, if Kagari is a Medis project, did they plant some memories inside of her? Or, like, she was a test subject to, like, try if this is working so they can, like, use some memories elsewhere or what the hell? What the hell I'm watching? <sighs> this is so fucked up. So, they real... Uh, they released her for some purpose and they're actually not that far away that base was it looks like abandoned for a very long time but it wasn't it was like about a year I guess and they were working there Wow that's kinda scary because these guys were just like not that far away from Okabe and others doing their weird thing. I don't like this. Yeah. So what would Akabe do? Like he tried to destroy like the everything to well what has anything to do with time traveling, but it still keeps coming back and World War Three is probably still going to happen. What what he can do to like change it? We know that in original it was this Akabe who like sent him message and talked to him, so he was able to save Kurisu and have his Stein's Gate on a world line where everything is okay and fine. So this Akabe won't have it, I, which is very depressing actually. Yeah, I'm still thinking, like, how can he change it? But he can change it, can he? Because this is a timeline while, when World War Three is going to happen. Damn, that's depressing. Yeah, I'm still, like, thinking he can, like, change it somehow, but probably he can't. 
Or he might change it, but then the world lines would switch again. If you know what I mean. So it would be like completely different world line. But in that world line where World War 3 won't happen, would like the Akabe from that world line still make a message to Akabe to save Kurisu and save the world? Or not? Oh my god. Oh, I hate this. I always, always, it's always like this that, oh, it's something nice. Look, everybody are happy and yay, and then everything is fucked. Stinsky loves to do that a lot. Yeah, I, I do like this uh, second series more than the first one. First one was pretty solid also, but I think I like this one more because of characterization and. It has like it's it's still kinda slice of life, but with a lot of like drama and thriller parts and like despair lurking behind because you don't know what's going to happen when something is going to happen. Jesus Christ you I can't imagine playing the game. I would probably be like stressed out a hell a lot <laughs> because you show when I play like visual novels or that kind of games I'm extremely stressed stressed out because I if like if the characters and story is good I'm very stressed out because I fear what like my characters I call them my characters like what they would do what would happen to them like if I did wrong decisions, they might die. Like, seriously, I hate it. And even though if you, like, can't change things much, I still care because visual novels are... There might be some gameplay, but visual novels are very st heavy story. Story heavy. And character based. And that's what I love about things, about the games. So I'm usually very stressed out and I take it very personally because I'm playing it and I like if I like characters and I enjoy it and then some character die it's very hurtful and oh my god this must be so stressful playing this. I don't know if I would be able to play this because they updated Stainsgate games and now it's like uh, very anime-like. So, I like wanted to do a let's play, but probably not on YouTube. But I can do streams because my internet connection is pretty slow, so it wouldn't pick up. Maybe in the future I would do a let's play for Stains Gate, both games. Oh my god. Yeah, probably. After I like kind of forgot the details, I would play it and would be freaking stressed out. So this is interesting. I don't like it. I like it at the same time. This is basically Stan's Gate. It's like stressed, chill, stressed, chill. <laughs> I hate it. Ah, oh, so I wonder what will happen next. Nothing good, I guess. Um, definitely going to give this episode 9 out of 10. I enjoy that. Enjoy that very much. Yeah. Oh, God. So, I think that's all. Goodbye and see you next time.